hello and welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how to use pagination in UI table view so with pagination as you can see the, in the in this title on your screen that is load more content from API while scrolling UI table view so suppose if you have thousands of records uh, on your server and then if you want to load them all at a time then it will make some time or load some time and freeze the UI or it will and just annoying to the user okay so what with the solution most use most app use is that it brings few records for example 20 records at a time so let's see this is our app and it's so now it's showing only 20 records at a time so here you can see 20 and it's just blinked up so here you can see more records are coming and here you can see 39 and more records so always just bring 20 20 records at a time so here you can see so this is we are going to create right now and this is called the pagination in iOS and in all languages so here we are going to learn how to implement this pagination in UI table so let's start open up your Xcode project and create a single view application template and name it pagination iOS tutorial I already created one and named it the same here it is and oops make it iPhone 10 and now it's time to draw the UI part for it so here it is we are going with this and background color is yellow this is our favorite color and here we will drag and drop a UI table view so with UI table view give it a constraint that is 0 from the top 0 is the leading 0 is trailing and 0 from the bottom okay now it's time to create an IB outlet so here it is in view controller shift we will create IB outlet we where dbl list of type ui table view okay and now open main dot storyboard double click on your view controller here and connect this dbl list ib outlet so here it is and we are done with our ui part so let me make it bigger so that we can go to the coding part so if i run the app at this time then we will see nothing so for this first of all we need to create an array that is called records array so here it is records array and it will be of type int and it is an array and here it is so now it's time to create cells and uh, delegate and data source methods or not cells delegate and data source methods for our table list so that tbl list dot data source is equals to self and tbl list dot delegate is equals to self delegate is required because we want to make a height of the row and also we will use the cell so to get that we are at the last row so that we can bring more records okay so here it is we will tell this class that we are going to implement those so ui table view data source comma ui table view delegate and here it is and so put it here mark ui table view methods and here first of all we will implement table view number of rows in sections so we are using only one section and it's by default one so we are only implement number of rows in section here it's required in so that's why we will return records array dot count and now the second methods to implement the cell so here we will table view cell for row at index path so there is four methods that just make you some confused so here you can read the description that tells the delegate that table is all to draw a cell for a particular row so this is the cell for row at index path so here it is you can also read for row at index paths and here it is so here we will say where cell is equals to table view dot dq reusable cell identifier is list cell and here we will check if cell is equals to equals to nil then we need to allocate it and here it is ui table view cell and constructor of this style dot default and reuse identifier will be same as we write above list cell and here we will return the cell and it should be for sun app because it can't be nil and it requires a valid cell object so here we will print cell dot text label dot text is equals to row and here it is we will pass our 
records array and here it is index path dot row and oops this is different cell I use so make it like table view cell for row is about to draw so this is not this is cell to insert it in a particular question sorry I forgot that and this is our method and here it is so sorry for that and here it is and here we have now we need to implement the table view table view height for h e i g h t for raw at index path and here it is the estimated so this is the method so here we will return 60.0 okay now if I run the app then you will see nothing only the black screen so let's run it right now and here you can see black screen with black rows so in order to remove those we will do dbl list dot table footer view is equals to ui view and here frame it's dot zero and you can now see that those those black lines are gone right now and it will show only the white screen so here it is now in pagination we required one thing that is limit you can take it as a constant so here we will say 20 records limit that will ring from the api but I'm making it uh, aware because we need to change it later on since we are not hitting an API so that's why and also one more thing that is let total entries is equals to 100 that is we have only 100 entries on our server so here it is and now we need to fill our array so here we say where index is equals to 0 and here we say while index is less than limit that is our 20 records and then we will in, in insert records array dot append new element and it is index and here we will implement index is equals to index plus one and now let's run the app and you will see the 20 records on our cell So here it is and when I scroll down it say it's nothing it's not working okay so to do this pagination what we will implement we will implement will display cell method of table view table view will display cell so this is the method will display cell here we will put our conditions and here first we will check that if we are on last row so for this if index parts dot row is equals to records array that is we have the array we have right now count minus one if it equals to equals to then then we are at last cell load more content the next thing is that we, we need to check if we already have all the records then we don't need to have uh, we don't need to bring more records otherwise we need to bring more records so what we do if records array dot count is less than our total entries that is 100 calls so then we need to hit an api we need to bring more records as there are some pending records available so here it is and now we need to 
bring more records so for this let's go back here and copy this content as you need to append more records so here I will implement here and I will change the index to my limit or, or you can say that is records array not limit records array dot count that is whatever we count we have for our array and here since if I make it suppose 20 records is there 20 is indexed so this condition will fail so for this I need to change the limit that's why I make it where in order to demonstrate this tutorial so here we I will do I will add more index plus 20 okay so I will make limit more and here now let's make it self dot perform selector as selector load table and oops load table and with nil and after interval of 1.0 it's time to implement this you don't need to do this if what since it will do some fast things and that will not make it clear for you that's why I implement the selector so here it is function and let's copy this selector and here it is load table and the brackets and here I will say self dot tbl list dot reload data in case you want to reload that then you can insert more rows it totally depends upon you but because to make it a little shorter I will use reload data and let's run and see if it's worked correctly or not as per our pagination so here it's installing on iPhone 10 simulator right now and here it is we have 10 11 12 and here you can see 19 rows and it's loaded 30 39 and it's you can see it comes little up and here it is 43 let me scroll it up and here you can see there is a blink here right at the bottom and 79 and here it is so it brings all the data and here it is now if 99 then it is not doing anything else because we are done and we have only total entries of 100 so if you increase the total entries then it will load more so this is a tutorial where you learn how to do pagination in Swift in iOS and also you can say how to load more content or use load more in UI table view in iOS. So if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please subscribe it as we are bringing more videos in coming weeks and if you have more suggestions for or if you want, want any video to be created based upon your requirement then you can please mention in the comment box and we will try to make it as soon as we can and if you don't like this video then please write it also in the comment so that we can improve ourselves as we are also human beings okay so if you, the most important thing if you haven't subscribed then please subscribe as we are bringing more tutorials on swift in coming weeks and lastly Thanks for giving your time and watching these tutorials. Have a nice time ahead. Bye for now.